Okay, so this for the F twenty two. Now the F thirty five. All right, okay. This one does have a camera and a laser marker. Now let's see if this is a port or it, if it's integrated, but I think it's not a port. So the F35 would be preferred for this mod. Yeah, this is not an external port, but it's integrated in the fighter, just like with the default AMA3 chat. Okay, let's see if the paint jobs work with this one. It does. Not very colorful, I guess that was only in World War II. <laughs> okay. Now loadout. What do we have here? We have the Amram and two different Sidewinder rockets. The M9M is the older one, not as nimble as the newer 9X. So we would use this one, of course. Now he, oh, well, this is gonna be fun. An anti-radiation missile, 19 plus kilometers. Guidance, anti-radiation homing. Usually the AGM-88 would have GPS and then anti-radiation. You could launch it from very far away. The rocket uh, missile would travel <clears throat> to the GPS location and would find the target then. Okay. A lot of different guided bombs. I do like this fight, I think. This is an interesting missile. Um, the real world counterpart does have an enormous uh, amount of operational range namely about 130 kilometers, max range 100 plus, plus, yeah. And it's more like a gliding bomb, not actually a missile. So AGM is actually not correct, although it is called AGM 154 or 158. Okay, yeah, and of course, yeah, we are gonna try those, of course. Four times. And we could mount another two anti radiation rockets. That's nifty. Let's see what the internal ports can hold. Here, oh, oh, also pretty much anything. That's awesome. And cluster bombs, laser guided bombs. I guess this time we are gonna take laser guided bombs. We already saw how the GPS guided works in the USAF mode. Let's take four of those. GPU 53, 53. Nuclear bomb. Hmm. Does that actually work? Let's try it out, I guess. Okay, the front only has space for 
get to here myself. Okay, so now we have anti radiation, small laser guided bombs, <laughs> and an atomic bomb. What else? We wanted to try this one, also the unguided one. And here we are gonna try a typical laser guided bomb at the GBO-12. That's got to be one big fucking bomb. Yeah, pretty much. Let's try this one. It's got to do a lot of damage. 430 kilograms warhead versus <laughs> 89. Yeah. That should make a very big hole, indeed. Well, I think I think that's it. With this, we would have an every weapon covered. I mean, we are gonna try the A10, um, of course. There should be some AGM-65 missiles. Which are the anti-tank air-to-ground missiles. Why did I overlook these? AGM, AGM, no. AGM, no. That's the long range standoff weapons. Or maybe uh, the USAF mod doesn't have uh, AGM 65s. Could also be. Okay, that's it. Quit. No GPS guidance. Uh, we do need that for the atomic bomb, I think, right? But where do we drop the sucker? GPS, yeah, that's laser. GPS and laser and unguided. Okay, set the GPS target for the atomic fucking bomb. Of course we are. Okay, let's start the fight. Looks awesome. And I'm guessing it doesn't, although it does have a 100% fuel, it only shows half full on the left top because we didn't mount any fuel tanks. That's at least my best guess. Okay, we can already shoot those enemies down. Let's switch to Sidewinders. Okay, one hit. And possibly a second hit.
and another one down. Yeah, it is. Let's try with the cannon, I guess. Whoa, what the f are you crazy? Dog fighting with the AI is just no fun. They don't ever seem to go into stove and can turn forever. So maybe we are not gonna use the gun. Just shoot the hook, uh, missile uh, into it. Unfucking believable. What turn rate does this fighter have? Actually, that's not a fighter, that's a bomber. New form. It's, yeah, it's fucking crazy. Okay, let's try the other fighters first, because they're already closing in. Five kilometers. Let's wait a little bit more. Okay, hit. Now those other two. Right here. And another hit. This one's flying away, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get him. I'm not quite sure why the afterburner doesn't engage. 
don't have any UAV, but you could watch the UAV feed via HIP. Now, okay, here we are. And hit, okay. Whoa. Of course, I forgot to disarm those interrader emplacements. I guess this is for the atomic bomb. Whatever. That's pretty cool. Total head tracking. Oh, nice. What else do we have here? Total picture in picture. I guess that's from our camera. I thought the range doesn't seem to be that much. Okay, let's disable that again. MFD picture in picture. Probably the same. Hands like TGB targeting map position. Yeah, we already did that. GPG for implant position. Okay, let's fly to the interrader emplacement. Switching to the interradiation missile. Eighty two, uh, twenty eight kilometers. I'm not sure when I actually can launch the missile. Twenty kilometers seems doable. Let's wait till we are. Let's just shoot, shoot one rocket. We will see. This missile launch detected. Yeah, that's our missile actually. Okay, we have one still going, and the second one still going, and the radar is still on. So the missile didn't seem to hit anything. I guess we do need to lock on. I 
Let's try that one more time. Let's Okay, now we could look around. Holy shit. Okay, I think we have a lock. Yep, one down. Can I get another lock, please? Yeah, it only locks onto the main radar dish, just like in Arma 3, ah, with the default Arma 3 jets, I mean. I'm not getting any lock on the missiles itself. And what about those interior tanks? Yeah, no problem. Let's see on at which, at which range we can do that. targeting position okay we had 7.5 I think we are going to turn at about 20 kilometers and close in and at, at least 15 kilometers we should be able to uh, get a lock. Okay, it's a corner, so maybe 12. It's, we are at 15 kilometers. 17, okay, let's turn. Let's fire. Although they never locked onto me. Maybe they are only gonna lock on if they actually have ammunition. This could also be a problem, of course. 
So let's give them some. What's the CR message? Okay. Seventeen. Let's try one indirectly. Maybe it will pick up the enemy radar signature and dive into the tank, so to speak. Okay, we are at 12 kilometers. We can get a lock and another one away. And another one away. This would be the third one. But the enemy isn't actually locking on, so of course the indirect missile wouldn't wouldn't see the entire air tanks and couldn't get a lock on. So we are gonna okay. Okay, that's all for the missiles. Now, let's try the... Right. Yeah, we... Oh, we do have some tanks. Let's play some stationary tanks. Shit. Um, <laughs> can't see anything with this overlay. Thanks. And some cars, I guess. and place a marker. Okay. And now we're gonna place a waypoint over here. And drop our unguided um, cluster bomb with probably um, self guided sub ammunition onto those tanks. That's the plan, at least. Also, we do have a camera. And away. But this is going to be interesting. What's going to happen? Okay, there are parachutes with this up ammunition. And yeah, that, that worked perfectly. Fucking A. Holy shit. That is awesome. You could potentially destroy 40 vehicles in one go with this cluster bomb. I mean, it actually destroyed each and every tank. Wow. Wow. Okay. Consider me impressed. I didn't know that. Now, for the GBU-24. That's the big brother of the GBU-12. Meaning it's also laser guided. So let's turn, turn on our laser. And right in the middle of things, I guess. 
Let's see what we can destroy. Okay, switch to the GPU 24. Okay, bombs away. I mean, in the middle of this era, I prob probably won't do that much damage. Or actually it does. Wow. Holy moly. Yeah. I'm a new fan of the GPU 24 and the cluster bomb. <laughs> That's for sure. I guess we are gonna drop the atomic bomb an actual city then. So we have the STB. I mean we could could try and target uh, the moving tanks which should be around here somewhere. Yeah. Okay they are, they are not really moving right now. But I guess that's that's their problem. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and the second one. Whoa, whoa. I don't know. No. The tank. That happens when the plane is not level. Sometime today, I hope. Come on. We didn't miss, did we? Or maybe we did. Maybe we weren't on target. Oh, wait a second. Aren't those the lock on type bombs like from Arma 3 default let's try and get a lock for well, now I can't target anything yeah we have a target but this one's dead I guess that's close enough. Nope! Fucking laser! Where the fuck did it went? Why did it drop over there? I guess it's just better to use the only laser guided bomb because this one, this semi self guided bombs yeah it's hit and miss quite literally okay i guess let's prep some targets for the atom bomb we can disable the laser marker now as this is a gpu bomb We destroyed pretty much anything, so I guess we are gonna search for a larger city. This will do nicely, I guess. Okay, and let's place some enemies. Armor, motorized, whatever. 
Infantry, Let's just check and how much this e bomb can actually destroy in the game because I don't think it can actually do that much. But I've been wrong before two times. So let's just see what this bomb can do. Oh, of course, we have to set the marker so we can set the GPS posi position. Doesn't really matter what we take here. Let's center it. Okay. Now, of course, we, we need to set the GPS position. In Paros, that's right. Um, we can delete this target. Set the new target, select the target, and that's it. Okay, switch to the nuclear bomb and fly high enough, I guess. The queue distance is 12 kilometers, so it's gonna take a while before we see anything. Let's climb to 5000. Okay, there we are. And bombs away, I guess. Fucking Jesus Fuck me What the heck is happening? Oh my god, I have to see this Whoa, the frames are dropping like crazy Okay um, Where are we? Where do we need to be? Right Holy shit, a real atomic bomb in armor 3. Oh my fucking god. This is fucking epic. Everything is destroyed. Oh my god. Let's do another flyby. Whoa. Every house is kaput. Jesus. Yeah. I've been wrong three times already. 
Holy shit. It is mightily impressive. But that really is it for the F-35. Nice. Okay, do we have a tail hook? I don't think so. We could try the landing autopilot, but that won't work. Nope. Nevertheless. Yeah, there's no landing hook. Helicopter. What the fuck are you talking about? There's our aircraft carrier on the radar, right in front. There he is. Yeah, yeah, don't get any percentage waste. I'm not that low. Okay. Yeah, without a hook. No. Nope. So unfortunately, this is not a carrier-based aircraft. What a fucking shame, because this aircraft is fucking beautiful. It has a lot of options. It has an atomic bomb, GPU-24. Man, I think I'm in love.